What's going on? This is Alan Brown, aka Bully the Kid. In this video, I'm kind of going to be teaching how to diagnose uh, a problem with the bass. Uh, this bass was uh, slid to me to try to make it better. What I assumed all I needed to do was, uh, like the last video, just hot rod the pickups, which is just adding uh, extra stronger magnets to the bottom of the pickups that are existing to boost the output, to give it more magnetism, to give it more uh, resonant response in theory. Uh, I did see gains in doing that, and it's a pretty cheap mod to do. It doesn't really take too much time to get it done. Uh, under further inspection, we never actually plugged this into uh, my bass cab back there, uh, Fender Rumble Stage 800. Uh, I was trying to figure out what the knobs and stuff are, and I ran across a few... Uh, weird things that I personally would have to uh, take a look at fix before I actually like try to play it or gig it, gig with it and make it an actual usable uh, instrument for me. So looking at this, I make the assumption that it is a passive bass. I do not see a bass compartment. There is still a possibility a uh, battery could be inside here, but it's a very small cutout and it's very unlikely that it's in there. So, what I automatically thought was, you have a volume for this pickup, you have a volume for this pickup, the one closer to the bridge, and then a tone. That's a normal passive circuit. Uh, upon further looking into it, actually playing it, okay, so this is volume, okay. This does appear to be tone. Tone. Okay. Okay. So there's a there's a there's a dent in the middle. So now I'm thinking this is a booster cut or what I think it is is actually a blend knob. So let's go ahead and try that experiment. Okay, so two things. First thing, I rolled it to the back and the hum went away. Let's try that again. The hum pretty much went away. Roll it to the front and then the hum comes back. Uh, and then there's a bit of like shielding. There's that issue too, but that could just be the cord or something. Uh, could also be the tone circuit. Then there's this bit about how it's loose right here, and that could just be that could just be the pot sitting on top of the screw, and it, yeah, it just needs to be tightened down. So that's that's light work. That's nothing serious. But more importantly, I need to open this up and uh, check out as to why uh, this is not. A little bit better. Uh, what I assume is one of the pickups are not playing. So that's what I'm about to hop into right now. Uh, let me do that. Turn this down. Pull this out. Grab this. Handy dandy. Screw down. This is a jumbled mess, and this has been butchered on. Okay. Okay. All right, what are we doing here? Okay, so this is gonna take the place of you. And I'll plug you in, charge up. All right, so when I said this is a jumbled mess, this is what I'm talking about. Of course, it was all packed in there, kind of like this, right? So all you see is a pot in a real small cavity. So uh, what I'm looking for on this is I'm looking for any loose connections to the 
potentiometers. Trying to make sure that what is going on here? There is okay. There is obviously one that is disconnected and it is coming from the front pickup. So what I do not know is if the front pickup has to be, okay, so, okay. This is red, this is green. Green is, Jesus, this is it's an anthill of words. What is going on here? It's yellow jumping over here. That goes there. That goes to the base body of the pot. And I need to solder to the side over here. And then drop this lead back on. That is wild. How do you just, who did this and why? Okay. So I have two hole on the pickup that's at the front up here. Me just looking at it. The pickup up here, there are two leads. These two here are red and a uh, neutral. That's going to go to the pot side and this is a blended pot uh it's just how the inside looks at it and i can't give you a good view of it with this camera setup so i'm just going to try to do the work and then uh try to make it happen because i didn't know that this was a thing so uh and then i still got to do the um stuff i actually wanted to do the beginning with. so yeah y'all minutes of fighting with this thing but all because this is garbled in this very small compartment and I got this compartment ain't even two fingers wide and I gotta get down in there and you know what if this don't work I'm gonna give it back to him hey I'm gonna disconnect the wires I had you can grab on with it I don't know whatever unless he wanted me to put in a whole new shebang and bang um this took me off But I guess I did something right because uh, volume up, front pickup, back pickup, and a 
middle. And that's probably the core. That's the core. So. Back pickup. So the neck itself is bowed and the action is way high off the fretboard. You can, you can visibly see the separation there. So uh, in order to make that be better, I'm gonna go ahead and try to like set it up a little bit whenever I take the strings off to do what I actually wanted to do. Uh, but uh, yeah, I couldn't give you a good angle of what I was trying to do because it was already cramped in there. But basically, I looked at how the back pickup was wired and what it was going to. And uh, it turns out that both the red and black wire, if you have this base, the red and black wire were both going to the tone knob. So all I had to do was tie both of those wires together, make one sure connection, add in some extra solder, and then lock that in place. And that brought the front pickup back online. So, um, yeah, that's all I had to do as far as wiring to fix that up. So I'm sure he's going to be happy about that. But uh, that's going to wrap this whole video up. And then, uh, yeah, I will, uh, I'm going to end it here and stuff like that. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for uh, sticking around, being here for as long as you have been. Uh, like, subscribe. Appreciate it. Uh, Till next time, this is Alan Brown, Capability Kid. Y'all be easy.